another uh, BSR turntable that I serviced and put up for sale without a base. This is just sort of a replacement unit for uh, consoles that are all in one stereos that use the BSR. And I do quite well with these. It takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to uh, service these. And uh, this one sold for $185. This is a strobe disc. Uh, often these are uh, metal and attached to the record players. This one is cardboard and is meant to be uh, you know, used on different record players. The uh, principle is uh, if you have like a strobe light or even just a, a fluorescent light and you shine it while this is spinning, uh, the uh, uh, dashes there will appear uh, to be not moving when you get it right at the exact speed. And this one is 60 hertz, which is uh, for the North American market. And this sold for 20 bucks. This is a uh, Bose Wave radio with a CD player. And uh, I acquired this quite a while ago, and I kind of used it in my bedroom off and on. And finally I decided, well, after this summer, I picked up uh, this bass, which is basically a uh, expander of your auxiliary inputs. You can put uh, up to three auxiliary uh, devices input to be amplified uh, rather than just one. And... Uh, and then it needed a remote, that's right. I had to uh, just recently purchase this remote. I don't know, it was $12, $15, but they, they all work with each other. And so accumulating all these parts, I finally put it up for sale and sold it for $175, and it only took a week. Another uh, publication from my uh, library of odd books and magazines. This one is... Uh, from the uh, North Shore of Minnesota, or features the North Shore of Minnesota. And uh, I always pick up these, these odd books, uh, thinking that there's not that many of them printed. And uh, this one sold for $20. Oh, this is a metal cone shade off of a, uh, a, uh, a tension pole lamp. Uh, the lamp uh, had some other problems, that's why I decided to sell the parts. And uh, this uh, gold tone metal shade with the perforations in it, I was able to sell for $18. Uh, this is a uh, vintage pencil sharpener made by A.W. Faber in Germany. Uh, this is part of the collection I bought a couple of years ago. I finally took a best offer on it. I thought it was going to... Uh, you know, sell for a lot more and a lot quicker, but it's time to uh, move this thing along. And this one sold for $60 on a best offer. Now, this is one of those deals you like to uh, see happen quickly. This is an eight track recorder made by Midland. Actually, it was made in Japan by some company and Midland put their name on this model. It's a recording deck and uh, I took, uh, Saturday, I took it apart, cleaned it, had a, a problem that was uh, really bugging me. The record switch would not stay engaged, and it was just due to some wear. It took me a little while to figure that out, and just one little lever needed to be bent a little bit, and it works just fine now. And so I put it up for sale yesterday on Sunday, and it sold just a few hours later for $185. A couple of uh, vintage packages of Kodak paper for printing, uh, photo printing. I'm not sure if they've been used, opened, or anything like that. And they've been up for sale for a number of years, just sort of a garage sale find uh, photographic equipment. And uh, I finally just took a best offer of $15 after several years of sitting on these. This is a piece of Heathkit equipment, vintage equipment. It's actually for uh, uh, learning uh, an applications board and uh, a circuit board and some resistors and capacitors. And uh, I actually was able to test it and it does work. It does have a voltage output and the original box. Just something I found at a garage sale uh, over the summer last year. And uh, it finally sold for $75.
This is the uh, badge off of an Admiral Color TV portable, uh, vintage uh, late 60s, early 70s. Uh, it's one of the TVs that I picked up for free uh, along with a bunch of TV stands and things uh, a few years ago. I'm getting around to some of these TVs finally and finding out that uh, you know they just don't work. And So just uh, taking parts off that I think will sell and this sold for $18. This is a Marantz Stereo Tuner, AM FM Tuner, and this is the second piece to sell uh, of two pieces I bought uh, almost a year ago now. Uh, the amplifier portion sold uh, last summer uh, for about uh, $700, I believe. And I had this priced at $500, which I know is rather high for just a tuner, but it is in such excellent condition. Uh, just a one owner, no uh, marks on it anywhere. And, uh, but I finally, after almost a year now, uh, took a $400 offer for this. Uh, this Stan Kenton and his orchestra reel-to-reel 7-inch -reel tape uh, sold on a best offer this morning. Uh, today is Monday, March 4th, and it's been a complete week since I've had a sale. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the nice weather has uh, uh, interrupted people's uh, screen time. But uh, I listened to this tape all the way through and uh, was able to report, you know, no sound dropouts, good quality sound. And uh, it's been up for sale for a couple of years now, and I finally took a best offer of $23 for it. This is a Jansport uh, backpack with a uh, suede bottom, and uh, nothing really special about this. Uh, I uh, bought a few backpacks last uh, summer during garage sale season my girlfriend had some luck selling some backpacks but uh, this is the first one out of the uh, three i bought last summer that sold in it sold for 45 bucks this is a uh, vintage ashtray with, uh, wood print on it it's actually ceramic and, uh, i've had this for quite a while kind of used it myself as a, a catch-all but when i put it up for sale a really cool, I don't know if it's a kidney bean shape. Boy, there it almost looks like a foot. And uh, this one sold for uh, $20. Now, this is a uh, Dina China lamp. It's uh, inlaid with 24 karat gold. I bought this uh, on a local online auction. Nobody was bidding on this lamp, and I got it for the minimum bid, bid of, I think, $2.50. Now the shade didn't come with it. I had the shade from another lamp purchase years ago, but I thought it matched up nicely with the uh, lamp. Easy to uh, identify this lamp. It still has the tag on it. And uh, although this has been up on Facebook Marketplace for a couple of years, it finally did sell for $250. Oh, this is a Coleco game cartridge for a uh, Atari 2600 system. I picked up this along with a couple other cartridges, game cartridges, along with a case. The case looks like a turntable record player, but uh, I bought it just for the, the, the case. Those go for some good money. Um, some of these games do go for a lot. This one, not so much. This one sold for $15. This is a single Sony 90-minute cassette tape. Uh, I had a whole bunch of uh, Sony tapes that were similar to this, but not exactly. So I pulled this one out and I did a little research. It ends up, this is uh, a little bit rare. This particular uh, fairy chrome cassette from uh, the uh, late 60s, early 70s. And uh, although there's uh, some material program or uh, recorded on it, uh, I was still able to sell this one cassette for $20. Uh, this is an old uh, menu. Actually, it's not old. It's never been used. But I bought a bunch of these. They're from the Boken, uh What was it? It says here somewhere. Broken Bow, Nebraska. The City Cafe. Kind of fun to look at the old prices. This is from 1973. And I picked up several of these menus. The, the menu portion is the same. They've never been folded. And uh, they came with different scenes, this one being a floral one, and with the uh, month of April 1973 on it.
I've only sold a few of these. I sold them to the Historical Society in Omaha. And let's see, this one is going to Lincoln, Nebraska, not too far away from Broken Bow. And uh, I've been selling these at uh, $18 each. Another uh, one of these common BSR turntables, this one is branded uh, Fisher, and it actually has a uh, magnetic cartridge. It's a Sure M91ED, and I do a little uh, work to get that uh, cartridge installed, but uh, did that and uh, got everything uh, degreased and relubricated. Typical job on these, and I was able to sell this one for $195. This is a 45 RPM adapter for a uh, Philips record player changer that was made in the Netherlands and came in a Grundig stereo that I uh, dismantled in selling the parts. Uh, this one is a little special. Uh, the adapter doesn't just fit over the uh, uh, spindle, regular spindle, but actually has part of the spindle in it. So this just inserts in the hole. You replace the regular stacker spindle. And I was able to get $30 for this along with its little clip for the inside of the cabinet. This is a 12 inch guitar speaker or speaker for a guitar amp that uh, I pulled out of a uh, very poor cabinet. It was a, a Harmony tube amplifier that I found at a garage sale and got it very cheaply. And I'm in the process of uh, restoring that tube amplifier. But the speaker uh, has a nice big Elnico magnet on it. And I was able to sell this speaker for $40.